Hey guys, Brennan Mejia here, the Red Ranger from Power Rangers Dino Charge. So today's video, it's gonna be a lot of behind the scenes. I have a full album in my phone with over 200 photos from when I filmed Dino Charge. And we're gonna throw some of them up on the screen and then talk about them, what happened, what was occurring during it, um, just some fun, juicy details that you may have never heard before. All right, so this photo was the one and only time we met Haim Saban, the man himself who created Power Rangers and adapted it from the Super Sentai source material. So we went to his building in LA and we had a meeting with him and we got to get a tour and see the room with all the seasons where he had one Power Ranger helmet per season on a wall, which was super cool. Mr. Saban actually gave us one piece of advice during that meeting, which has stuck with me since. And it's, if you never ask, the answer's always no. You know, it's like similar to you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. But with this, sometimes we're too afraid to even ask people like, you know, hey, do you wanna collaborate? Hey, do you wanna blah, blah, blah? Hey, do you think I'd be good at this? Hey, could you help me with this? And so that just made me go, why not ask? What are, what's the worst that's gonna happen? They're gonna say no. Cool, move on with your life, easy. All right, so this picture, I actually really liked my hairstyle in it and they cut my hair shorter than this in the show, but my outfit. So basically they do a bunch of wardrobe tests before they end up choosing what our character wears. So it's just one of the outfits that I ended up not wearing in the show, but I really enjoyed uh, just being able to model. There's actually two of them that I have in my phone, different outfits that Tyler never wears, but could have, would have, should have. Would you have liked Tyler to wear this outfit or this other one? Let me know in the comments. All right, so this picture is with me and the dino cycle. So I have had bad luck with motorcycles, uh, just sitting on them, even in the past. I was at a show one time with my dad, it was like a car show, and I tried getting my leg off, and I think I knocked down the motorcycle when I was a kid. And then similar thing happened on set. So we were at a location, like in some beautiful farmland, and they wanted to get photos with me holding my helmet, sitting on the dino cycle, and then they walked away. And then me thinking my straddle lifting my leg over was higher than it was, uh, I hit the bike and it fell on top of me. And these are not small bikes. And it hit my elbow into the ground so hard, my elbow turned purple for several weeks and it was very uncomfortable. But uh, yeah, so I look all smiley in the picture, but I was very frowny after that picture. <laughs> Okay, this picture is fun. Uh, this was the episode where Ice Age froze us all in the season uh, premiere of Dino Supercharge. We were not actually frozen. They made these really cool ice block looking things that had a hole in the side that you basically just crawled in and then you stood inside of it and then you just pretended to be frozen. So yeah, this is just me pretending to be frozen in there. All right, this picture isn't necessarily Power Ranger-esque, but it's me doing a one-arm handstand. This was before we started filming Power Rangers, I believe. Uh, we all went down to the beach and just had a beach day with the Power Ranger team. And so I went and did my handstands because that's like my jam. And just a very beautiful area in New Zealand that we got frozen yogurt near here as well. Um, but that was actually, I have the picture, I think of us with the frozen yogurt that I can show. Too. We all had different colored spoons uh, matching who we were. This picture is with Aki Hirohaga. So he was one of the core stunt members of Alpha Stunts. He's wearing the red Dino Charge suit, which would make you think, and you'd be right, that he was my double. Although he also doubled Yoshi when he was Koda outside of the suit as the caveman. So our doubles would bounce around depending on who they needed to double or portray. He actually went to a Morphicon with me and hung out uh, when I was in the States later on, and we still keep in touch here and there, and he's just killing it in the stunt game still. Okay, this picture was boys' night out. The only one we're missing, we're missing graphite. So Jared wasn't with us, but we got blue, we got black, we got green, we got gold, we got aqua, and we even have Heckle, who becomes the Dark Ranger, and myself. This was the night that I bought Ruben his steak dinner as a sorry for hitting you in the face with a baseball your first day on set when we were playing catch and I threw it when he wasn't looking. Um, so I bought him a steak dinner. So we all went to get dinner together that night. This picture is before we enter the base under the museum in Dino Charge. Uh, we go through this giant T-Rex head, which is like a slide. For us, they're two different locations. When we go into the mouth, there is no slide that connects to the base. We just go down like a little slide and then we had to go 
change location, and then go down a different slide that they connect actually made inside the Ranger base. And then they edit it to make it look like when we go down one, then it's the continuous slide, but it's actually two separate places. This picture is cool. Uh, we were fighting a bad guy that could turn us into statues. And so I just took a selfie with my statue because I thought it was super cool that they made a statue of me. Uh, it was not actually made of like concrete cement. It wasn't heavy. I could pick it up. I didn't get to keep it though, sadly. I don't even know where I put that, but part of me kind of wanted it because it's like, that's cool, it's a statue of you. But then again, you're like, it's kind of creepy to have a statue of yourself. So I didn't keep it. So this is a picture of me playing the Prince of Zandar uh, with my fake mustache. The mustache really makes me look like my dad. I mean, my family jokes about it all the time. He's bald, but he does have that same kind of mustache. So it just made me go, huh, I really am my father's son if I decided to grow out a mustache. This picture is funny because in one of the episodes when we go looking for the Purple Ranger before uh, Claire Blackwelder plays her in the show, we actually had a different guy, I I believe his character's name was Albert, who was the first Purple Ranger, and he lives in New Zealand. And Power Rangers Dino Charge takes place in America, even though we film it all in New Zealand. Uh, so this episode, we actually go to New Zealand in the show to find the Purple Ranger. So we're being tourists going around and exploring, which is just funny because we we're already in New Zealand. Like that's where we film all of it. But now our characters are in New Zealand as well. This was one of my favorite days on set. So New Zealand is so amazing geographically. So there's this certain area where you walk and there's a lake and then you walk a little bit more and then there's sand dunes. Then you walk a little bit more and there's like this forest area. So you feel like you're playing a Pokemon game where there's like three different regions all within walking distance of each other. Um, so we got to surf down these sand dunes on these boards and they let us do it. You know, like typically that'd be like a stunt thing, but they actually let us go crash down the dunes and I just had the best time surfing, crashing, eating dirt. And uh, then it started raining as well, just to add to the ridiculousness of the day. Um, but it was just a blast, like to tumble down this giant hill of sand and not get hurt because it was just soft at the bottom and just getting to be a goof. This uh, was an episode that was cool because this is practical effects. So those are actual sparks flying out of the ground that they put charges in the ground, kind of like they, they bury it slightly. And then they have the safety meeting, like don't stand too close, you could be here. Um, but yeah, just when you see explosions on Power Rangers, sometimes it's CGI, sometimes it's real. This is one of those, it was real time. And I just love Michael Tabor's reaction in this. He just like, yeah. This picture is fun. Uh, so I'm doing a handstand inside the Megazord. Not truly because all the Megazord footage that you see where they're in the Megazords and the Megazords are walking around, that's all shot in Japan. They don't redo the external shots of the Megazords really ever as far as I'm aware, at least in Dino Charge. Uh, but the ex interior of the Megazord, we reshot for Dino Charge. So they redid it, they wanted it just different than what Kyo Ruger, the source material in Super Sentai was. So there's one episode where in the season finale of season one, Dino Charge, my character gets caught by the Megazord, um, but he doesn't have his Energem, so he's not able to morph. So I actually get to be in the scene with the stunt team who are all suited up as Rangers, except myself, who isn't suited up. So I did a handstand in there, because why not? This picture is chronologically season finale, like one of the last shots of Dino Supercharge, our second season, where we're all saying bye to each other. It was very heartfelt, because even though we didn't shoot this technically last, uh, it was one of the last things we shot. So it was just like, wow, this thing's actually coming to an end because eight months of filming sounds like a long time, but then when it's over, it's like, was that like a dream? Because you go back to your normal life back in the States and you know, it wasn't like the episodes were airing necessarily just all of it yet. Like they were airing some of them, but like, you know, everyone you lived with and around constantly for almost a year, you're now just not around anymore. So it was just this weirdest shock of going back to quote unquote normal life. This picture was fun. So I think this was like episode three maybe or four. It was early on. Uh, it's when we fought the maze monster. We were in this building that was like freezing and I had to dodge an icicle that was falling. And I found one of Riley's marbles. Mar Riley's our green ranger and he was helping us escape essentially. So they made us look like we were freezing. And I just love the, the 
the practical effects of like ice on us and like shivering to make it look like it was cold when it really wasn't. Uh, so that's just the picture of me picking up the marble that uh, our Green Ranger dropped for us to find our way. This picture is from one of the Christmas episodes. So typically in Power Rangers, like we, I think we shot 44 episodes uh, total between the two seasons, but we do holiday specials for Halloween and Christmas, and they're typically recap episodes. But Dino Charge did a pretty good job of actually making new material to make sense why we were watching recaps of old material. Sometimes they'll literally just use the full episode of like, we're just gonna watch reruns of old episodes to kill time, but they still tied it into the story. So this picture is just us having basically Christmas uh, meal together. So often uh, things are not shot chronologically at all, you know, so a Christmas photo or episode could be filmed in July. But according to my phone, this was taken December 18th, 2014. So. We were pretty darn close to actually being on Christmas when we filmed that. <laughs> this episode was from one of the, or this picture is from one of the Halloween episodes. So I got to be a, mat, a matador. Uh, again, back with the mustache. Then I got a rose and a hat and a cape. Uh, I think I might have that vest still. They let us, no, I have the pants, not the vest. They let us keep 10 items from our wardrobe and something possessed me to keep those pants and I don't, know why I did, but I have them for some reason, and I don't know what to do them with them now, but I have them, so I don't know. eBay. <coughs> no, probably not. Okay, this picture is from the first episode of Dino Charge, where I'm looking for Samson Caves, which James, our Black Ranger, told me where it was, and I find my Energem there, which turns me into a Power Ranger. So the journal I'm holding is cool because they actually gave me a journal to go write in because they wanted me to have my handwriting in. And then when they drew good pictures, because I can't draw very well, they would have an artist draw it in there. Um, but the handwriting was mine. So they'd give me the journal and like, just write stuff. So when we're flipping through it in episodes, you have handwriting in there. Uh, I do not have the best penmanship, I'm sorry. But they did let me keep the journal. So I actually have it. I have uh, a bunch of my Power Ranger memorabilia uh, in my garage. And that's one of the things that I got to keep. So it's super cool getting to flip through there occasionally and be like, what did I write? You know, so maybe we'll do an episode on YouTube where I go over what I wrote. Cause I honestly, I'm kind of curious. I can't remember. <laughs> All right, this picture, uh, I am holding a San Diego Comic-Con little name tag plate thing. Uh, I believe this was my first comic, San Diego Comic-Con I went to because they actually brought us to San Diego Comic-Con to promote Dino Charge. Uh, so we got to sign at the Nickelodeon booth and meet a bunch of people and they brought me in to sign like, I literally think it was 300 Red Ranger toys the day before. Like the other cast got there too, but they didn't have to come sign all those toys. They just made me do it. So I was just like, did it, did it, did it constantly. It took uh, at least an hour, maybe two to get through all of those. Uh, but I, it was just amazing because things I would never think that I would be at, you know, not just as an attendee, but a guest and Power Rangers was the key to that door. And I still do Comic-Cons a lot, but hopefully, you know, another time I'll be there with another credit aside from Power Rangers that's also pop culture -y. You know, maybe another superhero, who knows. All right, this picture is me taking a selfie with the stunt double in the Aqua Ranger suit. So Aqua Ranger is my dad in the show. I don't even remember who's in the suit, to be honest, but I see one of our other stunt doubles photobombing in the background. So that's Kai. Uh, Kai's amazing. He's so cool. I believe he would sometimes be Zenoing, um, and then he was also Blue Ranger sometimes, and I think he was Sledge a handful of times as well. And of course, it's Yoshi, the Blue Ranger, and myself being shirtless for some reason, doing a fist bump, because why not? That's just such a Yoshi Brennan thing to do, and our name is Broshi when you combine it. So it's a Broshi thing to do. Now, if you wanna hear the answers to the most popular Power Ranger questions that I'm routinely asked, watch this video next.